Hey CFS Warriors, it's Victoria wishing you a happy new year and just want to talk to you tonight about belief because I think belief is so foundational for recovery. And I know as you know, the new year is starting and we've just come out of the holidays, this can be a really, really challenging time for people with CFS. And so I just want to encourage you that if you went beyond your capacity over the holidays, if you found yourself in a challenging time, just give yourself a lot of self-love, self-care, and a lot of grace. You have made it into the new year. And I know that a lot of the mentality right now in the you know society is about goal setting and getting back to the gym and doing all these things. And I know that you know the new year can look a lot different for a CFSer. And instead of thinking of what can I do right now, let's think about what you can think right now that's going to impact the coming year for your recovery. And I know uh, there were several times in my recovery that my recovery buddy, Jason, spoke over me and said, this is your year for healing. And this is our year for healing. And you know, he had to say that a few different years before it actually came to pass and manifested. But the important thing is that we spoke it every year. We set our intentions every year. This is gonna be my year for healing. You know, no matter what you've been through, no matter how many setbacks you've had, it is a new day in your health and you can make a choice and a decision for that. And in a way, this is kind of an easy thing to do because if you're bed bound or house bound, you can still do this. You can do it with your thoughts. And, you know, there's an interesting quote from The Art of War by Sun Tzu, and it says, Victorious warriors win first and then go to war, while defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win. I think this is a very powerful thought for us as we enter into the new year, because it sounds to me that somehow you're going to win the battle before you even get out there and try to do anything. So it's a great thing to start this new year with setting your intention that you are going to win your health back, that you are going to regain your health this year, that you are going to make improvements, you are going to get the strategies and the help and the support that you need in 2019 to see tremendous progress by the end of the year. So I just want to encourage you with this because if you followed any of my videos, you know how much I am a believer in thinking the right things and how what we speak has impact. The, you know, the scripture says life and death are in the power of the tongue and all things are possible to him who believes. So this is just a challenge to you to start the new year with your intention set in the direction that you want to go. If you can't get out of bed or you're struggling, just come back to that place knowing that there will be a brighter day and that you can get your life back. You know, I know for me in my journey, I had a lot of dark times and, you know, sadly, hope fades when you're in those crashes. And I know that, you know, as much as I believed that someday I would recover, you know, when your body takes that dip, your emotions and mental follows you down that deep, dark tunnel, follows the body. And so it's normal for us to kind of get shaken up at times. I just want to encourage you, let's set the intention for this year to believe in recovery. That's like your foundation for what you're going to build on for the rest of the year in your recovery. And, you know, one of an exciting thing I did after the holidays was I pulled out my planner and I went back over the past year. And, you know, just to give you a little bit of perspective, a few years ago, I didn't even have the cognitive capacity to keep to-do lists or to keep a planner. It was like I, that just went out the window. And before CFS, I'd been the to-do list queen and the misorganized. And, you know, so, so all of that just went out the window. And that's why it was really exciting this year to look back over my planner and to go, wow, look at all the things I actually accomplished. I mean, I was actually marveling at it. 
And so I just say that as encouragement to you because I went through some really dark times, some really dark years, you know, wondering if I'd ever get my life back. But I think because I have that faith in the scripture and in God, I knew that it is possible for me to recover and that uh, that I could eventually get there. So, you know, I just would encourage you in that, that if you've heard, hit some dark times, Come back to your bedrock of belief. Use that as your foundation. Set your intention this year that this is going to be the year for your healing. Okay, guys, take care, and I speak life, health, and wholeness over you, and I declare over you that this is a new day in your health that you will find and get all the resources that you need this year, and you are going to get your life back. I'm really excited about the content that I've got this year to share with you from my journey, things that I've learned, strategies, ideas to help you on the path. So go ahead and subscribe if you haven't, if you'd like to have some more encouragement and recovery. Um, if you like the content I'm sharing, please like and share the video. That way it reaches more people who might be in some tough places. And, you know, I just want to let you know, too, I really enjoy reading your comments. So if you want to share something from your journey with me, please make a comment. If you've got any questions or any video suggestions, I'd love to hear them because I love going through those comments and seeing what my warriors have to say. So let me know you're out there.